Hello, in this video I will share to you how I do set up with Eximetry, DE, and Unreal Engine using anti latency tracking. So, enjoy. Firstly, I prepare my USB 3 extender cable and a USB to Type C cable to connect the tracker. I already mount the markers at the ceiling. Here I plug in the USB Type C to USB 3 extender. Once it plugs in, then I lay down the tracker on the floor like so. So this will be our origin and I measure it about 1.2 meters in front of origin point and mark it as forward point. Now we go to the right and do the same, do measurement about 1.2 meters and mark it as right point. It is not mandatory to have 1.2 meters, it's up to you. The reason that we have same numbers between forward and right point is just too easy to manage in axiometry. So we can figure it out how far the trigger has moved. Now we can turn on our markers. Tracking device already blinking white. I put masking tape on the tracking device just to make sure if the tracking device are at the same level as floor and in flat position, not tilt. Okay, once everything is set and fire up the anti-latency service software so i create already the 6x4 ceiling configuration as you can see the tracking quality is only minus 17 it's not the best but should works close the anti-latency service software and open up Eximetry DE. So I skip the hardware device mapping. Open Manage Device window and select your corresponding anti latency tracker. And click Set Current. Now we move to next position. Which is forward point. So this is our forward point. And just make sure that everything is lay flat. Once it's set and click set current. And then we move to another location which is right point. And click set current right point. Don't forget to tick the uprooted option and click apply and OK. I prepare my camera, this time I'm using Sony PXW-Z190. So I 3D print the tracker mount. I downloaded the 3D hot shoe model from Thingiverse and I made little modification with it. If you want to 
download my 3D model, you can check the description below. Okay, now camera is ready, and I will use a tripod in front of my camera approximately about one meter tall so this tripod will act as a pole and then later we can do alignment between real pole and virtual pole don't forget to connect the video signal So my camera is ready to be mounted on a tripod. Make sure the lens zoom is fixed. And tripod is in frame from bottom to top. I mean the tripod that act as a pole, not a camera tripod. Make sure the tripod is in the middle of the frame. Okay, see you in the next video. Let's get started.